Greetings, fellow hostages. Captain Black here. Today's topic, Brother Al Mims threatened again. New Orleans is very fortunate to have as our number one anti-crime activist and mentor, Brother Al Mims. For over 20 years, he has been working with young people that others refuse to, or quite honestly can't. He has labored tirelessly to try to unite two of the most disparate elements in the American criminal justice system, black men and police. He is a retired Orleans Parish Civil Deputy Sheriff. He is also a former member of the Louisiana Parole Board. Now, take all of these credentials and place them in ground zero of a high-risk community like Central City, where he lives, and one has all the ingredients for a very risky situation. Now, he's already had to go to court about one person who threatened. More recently, two drug dealers have the temerity to attempt to sell drugs in front of his house. Now, Brother Al's house is known in his neighborhood as the place not to commit crime because you will be challenged by Brother Al or perhaps a member of his family. Brother Al confronted these two individuals and, as usual, was threatened. You see, the Chocolate Clan has no more love for upright black men than its classic counterpart. So here we have somebody who for free and for decades is advocating for safety, responsibility, mentorship, cooperation where possible with the police. And his reward is that he and his family are routinely threatened. Brother Al has not asked me to make this public, and I am doing this simply because it needs to be told. There are men like Brother Al here, men like Detroit's Batman, Walter Gildersleeve, obviously in the city of Detroit, men like the Mad Dads, and others. I don't want to leave anybody else so out, pardon me, so please don't be offended if I did not mention you or your organization. But we'll just say broadly, under the umbrella of the anti-violence, anti-crime movement in the black community, on a daily basis, men and women, like Brother Al Mims and his wife, without fanfare, without invitations to the big house, the local mayor's office, without much appreciation, are doing that which conservatives always claim black people don't do, which is essentially police ourselves, and that which liberals really don't want us to do, which is police ourselves. So in threatening Brother Al Mims and his family, you have not only threatened one man and all he holds dear, but you have also threatened those of us who believe that black communities should not be governed by the thugs, by the chocolate clansmen, by the urban terrorists, whatever you want to call these folks, who give us a daily diet of violence and vulgarity and little else. This isn't trying to suck up to any group or movement outside of our community. If black lives are to matter, then they have to matter when black on black threats are identified. Brother Al Mims has done nothing more but try to save black lives from themselves and sometimes from outside forces. If I did not know Brother Al Mims and became aware of his work and these current threats, I would still be obligated to produce this video and provide the support that I have in the years that I've known him. Brother Al Mims was threatened again. And the question is, what are we, fellow hostages, going to do about it?